since Ahlul Bayt السلام, are so vital in the completion of religion, why were they not mentioned directly by name in the Holy Quran in order for people to see the truth blatantly rather than being amongst those that are confused or it creates confusion like why can't it just be that black and white for instance that this is who you follow this is who's after the prophet black and white no gray areas everyone goes to paradise for instance there are three views at least three views that come to my mind now three views first view they say this was done as a trial and you have some narrations that uh, can be applied to this view when some people ask the Imams why the name of Imam Ali is not mentioned in the Quran they said it's a trial and we said life is a trial mm -hmm. uh, in, in front of you this is number one number two, the second view some scholars say the names of the Ahlul Bayt were mentioned in the Quran but these verses were removed here yeah, comes the tahrif of the Quran, all those mm -hmm. in the tahrif. Although, as we said, we don't accept this. Mm -hmm. And they are a minority in the Shia school of thought. Okay? No matter how big their names are, they are a minority. And our mainstream scholars refuse this view. So they say some hundred verses, two hundred verses. Some of them, they say three quarter of the Quran was changed, well. and, and, and so on. And some of them uh, in their wrote a book about tahrif al Quran. Tahrif al Quran. And they started, qala ta'ala. Inna anzalna dhikr And the verse says, Inna nahnu anzalna dhikr So they, they got the verse wrong from the beginning, mm. right? They didn't get it right. Uh, so this is the same view. They say the, the, the names were mentioned and then uh, Eliminated. it was uh, removed. Third view, until today you see some, some of these scholars, they say the names of the Ahlul Bayt are mentioned in the Quran. For example, هذا سراتو say سراتو علي Fourth view. Enough. We we'll come to the yeah. fourth view. We said three, <laughs> four, fourth view. The fourth view, which um, the mainstream scholars and the Shia school of thought believe in. They say the Quran mentioned the status of Imama. إني جاعلك إني جاعلك للناس إمامة. It mentioned the status of Imama. وجعلها كلمة باقية. ونريد أن نمن على الذين صدوا في الأرض and so on many verses that speak about the status of imam okay it doesn't have to specifically mention the names of the imams for certain social political uh, reasons uh, during the time of the prophet صلى الله عليه وآله the Quran is the divine source the Quran mentions the main principles the Quran mentions the principle of salat how to perform salat we go to Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وآله he mentions zakat. How to perform zakat? We go to Rasulullah. He mentions imama, khilafa. Who is the khalifa? We go to Rasulullah. 